Welcome back to News 15 today. Joining us now virtually is friend of the show, Chris Rader, on the heels of a pretty big Twitter hack. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks, Carter. So uh, we kind of mentioned it earlier in our show, but real quick, explain to the folks at home what happened. All the verified accounts just disappeared, which made some, for some nice banter on Twitter, but there's some scary implications that this could potentially yeah. lead to. Yeah, so uh, what happened is 130 accounts were, I call them hijacked, um, someone used social engineering, which means they um, found people at Twitter that had administrative access to tools, and they coerced those people into giving them the credentials to access administrative tools, which then led them into these 130 accounts. And once they got into the 130 accounts, they did something um, where they changed the email address on those accounts to an email address not belonging to the person, and then multi-factor authentication sent a code to that new email address to allow them to get in without notifying the users. So this is a classic example of um, what we would call SIM hijacking or security identification management. They could have um, coerced the uh, cell phone providers into changing, um, changing from one phone company to another and, and obtaining that information. But the implications are, are huge. Uh, here's here's the reason. If um, if someone would hijack some of the, the you know the top ten accounts or top one hundred accounts during mm -hmm. an election, they could change the way we view an election because they could post things that are not true or not real, and that's what scares this country. Right. We, I mean, we currently have a president that uses Twitter almost like a diary of sorts. So, leading up to like right before the election day, like what's an example of something that they could potentially say that could help that could affect our, our upcoming election? I mean, they could they could say something um, uh, totally against the party on the election day and have an exodus of a party, or they could say something for a party that's false and have people come to the party. It's interesting. Donald Trump is number seven, uh, seven on the you know the Twitter list, and uh, um, Barack Obama is number one in, right. in, in the list. Um, and there's we talked about this earlier, but there's 321 users, 321 million users, but there's 500 million tweets per day. I'm going to repeat that: 500 million tweets per day. I think that's 6,000 per second. And all this information is flowing globally. So if someone gets in there and puts false information, we call it deep fake in, in earlier um, interviews, mm -hmm. then it could actually tilt an election which would change policy and change our country and change our world. Well, luckily, this particular hack wasn't too effective, and it definitely showed right. there's definitely holes in Twitter's system that hopefully gets fixed for later on. Definitely something to Correct. look out for is for sure, though. Chris, thank you so much for joining us and kind of explaining this for us. Thank you, Carter. All right. Well, guys.